by far the best way possible to do the hog paneling. All right, today, the mission, you're gonna build some stairs off this deck right here and hopefully get into the railings. We'll see how far we get. There's gonna be a little bit of digging involved and I got a stringer to cut, so this should be fun. Here we go. All right, so my approximation, slightly off. Just gonna bring the blocks up a little bit, and then we're gonna get these things rolling. Measure twice, dig once, it's okay. It's easier to fill in than to dig more. Good sign, they're level. Uh, next, I'm gonna add a little support underneath so the stringers don't shift and then it's time to put the stair boards on there and then make this thing look pretty. Tread boards, tread boards they're called. So we are just this close and then we're gonna fill it in with dirt and gravel and those stairs will be done. You don't see a pink and blue octopus. Hey Malia, we're gonna get that last deck on, uh, board on the stairs on, huh? Mm -hmm. You ready to do it? Yeah. Let's do it. Here goes the last step. Good job. Two more. We did it! High five. Boom! All right, here we go. Today, finally, railing day. We made it. It's a little windy, so I'm hoping that the wind doesn't get in the way of this video, but it might a little bit. Okay, so I have done this hog paneling a bunch of different ways, and I think I finally maybe figured out the way I'm gonna do it. Here's way one, simple, easy. Just staple it onto the back of the frame. Yeah, I use some big staples. It's strong, it holds, it's fine but not my favorite look, because you can see it from the other side. So then, when I made the deck at the other girl's house, I also did some cattle paneling. I keep calling it hog paneling, but it's cattle paneling. Anyway, on this one, I used my table saw to rip a groove in the bottom, because I thought that would be 
groovy. Uh -huh. I thought that would be cool. But here's the thing. It's not that easy to get in. And then it kind of bows out. It's not connected on the sides. You can see. Decent concept, but I'm still not 100% sold on it. So today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna rip a two by four in half. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip that on its side. I'm gonna flip it on the skinny side and then I'm gonna sandwich the wire in between. If that didn't make any sense, let's just watch and see how it works. I wouldn't go that far. Let's not go that far. That's nice. <laughs> is that how you imagined it? This is exactly how we imagined it. Dallas would be proud of this. Okay, I think we got the system down. Let's knock this thing out. Like my shades. Like shades. It's so strong. Good job. All right. High five. Boop. We're gonna wedge it out just a little bit. There we go. See how it's beautiful now? Say flushy, flushy. Flushy, flushy. Nice blue now. Let's do it. Come in. Let's do this middle one. Ready? Get this one perfect. Watch yourself. Go. Go. Good. Say flushy, flushy. Flushy, go. Oh. Hey, Malia. Yeah. What do you think of your cage? What cage? <laughs> this is your cage. It's your cage. See, Dad's putting up bars to keep you in. That right there is why Daddy's doing this. Why? So you don't fall off. And twirl out in the wall all way. Because you love to twirl. Right? Yeah. It's a lot more safe when there's a fence there, huh?
Okay, now it's decision time. Officially, I'm out of cattle panel. I need one more panel to finish this job. At this time of day, it's decision. Do I go get the panel and finish strong, or is it time to call it quits? We'll go ask the boss. All right, we're gonna go for it. I went and got the cattle panel. It took an hour, but that's just because how long it takes. Anyway, we are gonna finish strong on this deck today. Let's get these last two panels and a little baby panel up, and we'll be done. one to go and it's a baby panel. So exciting. We're gonna get it done tonight. It's taking a little longer than expected, but that's okay. And that's it. We did it. It is done. We hustled at the end to finish and we got it done. Now, for real, for real, for real, for real. This is truly the best way out of any ways I've done to do a cattle panel kind of railing or whatever on a deck. It's holding it in there. There was barely any struggles at all with the wire. Deck done except for one set of stairs, but you know what, we'll call it close to done. Until next time, goodbye from the deck. Now it's time to milk. So we're really happy with the way this turned out. By far the best way possible to do the hog paneling. The two by fours that are ripped, hold it in. It doesn't move, it's secure. It's really easy to cut the panel itself and fit it in because you have a little bit of room to play. So my advice, do it this way the first time. <laughs>